Well, as I said, I thought the movie needed its own music. That was the first thing that, you know, talk about having to undo it town. You know, this, this, uh, <laughs> but they couldn't, you know, because of the, because of their montages sometimes or narration, they had to be rescored. So, you know, I tried to get in the head of the movie, but I, I felt, of a particular scene, but I felt that this movie needed its themes. And I thought it needed to be very thematic, uh, the, way, the way those films are. And uh, so that was the challenge there. Beautiful. We were able to monitor Peter's work uh, via the internet. And it was really the most fantastic experience I've ever had. The only drawback, we had to get up at 3 a.m. to do it. <laughs> and we could monitor what was going on and send Peter emails. But I was so transfixed by it that the only notes I could send was, this is so cool, this is so great. <laughs> and it was so exciting, and, and I was so scared because Peter went to Prague, he had, he had three days to do it, and to get it right, and come home, and that's it. And so it was really daunting, but it worked. And technology is so fantastic to be able to communicate. I know being in the room is really important, I'm all for that, but sometimes uh, technology really works, that he asked us a lot of questions. And he listened, and he didn't say very much. And it was really, really um, uh, inspiring to know that he was listening. And he asked really insightful questions. And he got the story, and we knew that from his questions. And so that gave us a lot of confidence to back off and let Peter do his thing for a while without you know, bugging him with every damn little cue. So it was really uh, that, that process, asking questions and listening. That's, 